Hello, I'm Richard Humphreys, and I have secondary progressive multiple sclerosis. And Richard, um, what made you decide to go to Costa Rica for treatment? Well, we had tried several avenues here in the United States, uh, and every, every experimental thing that we could uh, come up with, but everything was totally un, unsuccessful. So virtually, if we stayed in the United States, there was no hope. We, were, we knew that the medicines were trying to treat the symptom and not trying to treat the disease, so our last option was stem cell treatment. Okay. And how did you find that? We found uh, the stem cell clinic my wife did in Costa Rica on the internet. Okay. Okay. Um, and when, when did you first go down there for your treatment? Uh, we flew out of here May 11th of 2008 with the first treatment being May 14th. Okay. Um, and can you tell me what your diagnosis was and when you were initially diagnosed? I was initially diagnosed in October of 2005 with relapsing remitting. Then in March of 2007, it went to secondary progressive uh, multiple sclerosis. Um, and can you give me um, a list of the symptoms that you were experiencing before you went to Costa Rica? Uh, anywhere from numbness in my hands and feet to cognition issues, definitely spasticity issues, so the coordination was terrible. I uh, stumbled probably 20 times a day versus um, and occasionally falling. Had to go to the hospital at three different times because of you know, injuries from falls. Um, you know, the amount of pain was unbelievable. Uh, due to the spasticity, I think, but on a 1 to 10 scale, the pain was probably about a 17. That coupled with uh, May 2nd of last year, I had my 622nd and 623rd seizure. So it looked pretty dim. There was not much hope. Yeah. I mean, you just think of your life being here, just uh, you're in a chair or in the bed. Uh, that's how life was as we knew it. There was no contribution to the family, you know, none whatsoever. One night, I was so, the spasticity was so bad, I couldn't even feed myself. My wife had to feed me. Um, so after, after you got your treatment, did you, did you have any more seizures after, after the first treatment? After the first treatment, all the seizures went away. Even the feeling like I could possibly have one. I no longer had that feeling. It totally disappeared for the first time in hmm, about three years. It was pretty, pretty exciting. Wow. So how many, how many treatments have you actually had? I've had two treatments, one in May of 2008 and then another one in February of 2009. The main one in February was to try an experimental stem cell called CD133+, plus because it was proven in Israel in a study last year to regrow inner ear nerve hairs in lab animals. But uh, it never been tried on a human, so we went back for that, and I got a little booster, which was wonderful. It's really just, it literally gave me another boost, and I'm better off now than I've been in, you know, four years. Yeah. So after, after the first treatment, you saw the majority of the results? During the second injection that night, I started seeing results. The fog had completely lifted. My cognition had improved. My coordination was starting to improve. And from there, for the next four months, we continually saw slight improvements in just so many issues that, um, in fact, one remarkable one is getting feeling back in my hands, which I had lost. And most of the feeling back in my feet uh, the pads on the right bottom foot, I did not get back after the first treatment, but I did get back after the second treatment. So do you feel, do you feel normal? Do you feel that as you, as you did before, you experienced any symptoms? I, I wouldn't say that I'm cured. I would say that I'm 80% uh, better than yeah. I was. So that's pretty exciting. Do I still have MS? Yeah, I still have MS. but. Uh, quality of life is about 80% better. It's pretty, if we'd have taken 20% a year ago, you know, thinking, yeah. oh, that'd be great. But to get 80% was just uh, unbelievable. Yeah. So, um, 
So are you are you thinking about going back again for another treatment? Um, at this point in time, I don't. I really don't have too much of a of a need to go back for another treatment. Um, hopefully, maybe in the fall, if things deteriorate, or if we think, well, let's see if we can even go even further in improvement, which we might can. Uh, we'll take a look at it then. That would that would be quite exciting because we saw in February that there were some more improvements and a little bit better cognition, a little bit better co and coordination. Um, the numbness has totally gone away. You know, can I regain even more? Uh, we may try it again this fall. That'd be exciting. Okay. Um, so just to talk about the actual clinic. Um, how how are the doctors that you that you work with in Costa You know, it's like how doctors were about forty or fifty years ago. You know, it, they brought with them this compassion for their patients again, like they really wanted you to get well. It wasn't like uh, next. You know, it's kind of like the United States where we, we like we're cattle, number thirty four, number thirty five. You know, it wasn't like that. Yeah. They were very compassionate, very warm, very intelligent. They really knew their stuff. And uh, you, you felt like, oh, like, he really wants to help me or she really wants to help me. And that was definitely the case in Costa Rica. Yeah. And the hospital was clean like in the U.S.? Believe it or not, the hospital was cleaner than anything in the U.S. Being an old nursing home administrator, every time we sent a patient back from the nursing home to the hospital, they always came back with some kind of staph infection. It just seemed like it never quit every single time. So while I was in Costa Rica last year, I purposely asked a nurse or two different doctors, unbeknowing to each other, I said, well, tell me about your staph infection issues. And all of them looked at me like, we don't have staph infection issues. I said, what? Tell me. <laughs> we, don't, we just don't have them. Yeah, we use universal precautions as they do in the United States, but we don't have you know, staph issues. And as we were leaving one day, this man was down on his hands and knees with a bucket of soap and water, scrubbing the baseboards. And I said, that's why they don't have staff issues. The hospital was actually cleaner than any other hospital I've been to, including the one, the two at Mayo uh, Clinic there in Rochester. Okay. So you told me a little bit before about how you had to go to Mayo Clinic. Can you just tell me... Tell me about that again, the doctors that you saw and then you ended up having to go. Well, it was really an unusual presentation talking about my multiple sclerosis. Uh, initially, all I saw were the tonic seizures, and they kept coming on and coming on, some days 30, some days 40, you know, or more. And it was, of course, and these seizures were all-encompassing. They would really take your body in to a full fetal position. So we kept going to neurologists around here, went to the three of the top neurologists in the Dallas-Fort Worth area with no success at all. Nobody knew what was going on. At that point in time, I said, well, the only other option we're going to do, we're going to have to go to Mayo Clinic. And we went to Mayo Clinic, and ironically, the second neurologist we saw, I had a seizure in front of him, and he figured it out quickly. And they ran me through a battery of tests, and then I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Okay. Okay. Um, and back to Costa Rica, how was your overall of everything in, in the city and, and everything that you saw and experienced on your trip? I really enjoyed Costa Rica. It was uh, a very, very nice you know, place to go. Um, people think, well, Costa Rica or it's a vacation place or it's a third world country. Uh, the medical staff and all the medical personnel is excellent. We liked everything about it, the hotel stay. Uh, the only thing I had a little problem about was some of the food was kind of just uh, not exactly seasoned. So if, if I had to give you one hint about going to Costa Rica, bring your own seasoning. You're going to need it. Okay. Um, and this might be obvious, but would you recommend this as an option for other people in your situation? Michaela, I got one thing to say about that. Get on the next plane. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Richard. Oh, you're welcome. See you.